Welcome to another Keyshot 9 feature tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use the new Denoise feature to reduce noise in the real-time view and render output, helping you achieve smooth results in less time. Cameras with depth of field, white-on-white -white shadows, cloudy plastics, and scattering medium materials often require a very high number of samples to achieve smooth results. But now, with the powerful new Denoise function in Keyshot 9, you can overcome this with just a single click of the Denoise button on the ribbon. This will enable Denoise for the currently active image style and is reflected in the Heads Up Display and Image tab of the project window. If the Denoise button on the ribbon is grayed out, your image style is locked. Simply unlock the image style to enable denoise. In both the basic and photographic image styles, you'll find this new accordion for denoise that contains a slider for denoise blend. This allows you to control how much of the denoised image is shown. When this is set to zero, you will see no denoise effect in the real-time view or render output. At a value of 1, you will see a completely denoised image. Any value in between will blend the original and denoised images, which can be useful if the denoise effect reduces the clarity of fine detail or textures in your scene. As the number of samples increases, and with each denoise refresh, the quality of the result will improve. Denoise is available for both CPU and GPU rendering with the best results occurring when using the product mode rendering technique. When you're ready to render, simply render your job with denoise enabled using maximum samples or maximum time. Users of Keyshot Pro can enable the new RAW render pass to output the original image without any image style or denoise applied for maximum post-processing flexibility. Because denoise is a post-processing effect, it will not be displayed in the render output window until the job has completed. Once it has, you can make adjustments to the denoise blend value and save out variations. Denoise will also apply to multi-frame rendering such as animation, configurator, and Keyshot XR output, but keep in mind that this may create a very high RAM load. As a final item of note, you may notice slight differences in the real-time view and render output. This occurs because the render output takes advantage of the normal and diffuse passes to produce the best possible result. These passes are output automatically when denoise is enabled and can be deleted after the render output window is closed. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 feature tutorial. Let us know your thoughts on this feature in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends.